Chris Richter back again. I want to show you a plugin that I uh, also discovered, uh, thanks to, like I said, a friend of mine, Greg Bird, who mentioned a couple of different things. This is the other one he mentioned, which is called Boost Union. Now, Boost Union is actually a theme, but it's a child theme to the Boost theme. So what that means is you still need the Boost theme installed, and that's the main theme that you're using. But this adds a heap of extra features to the Boost theme and keeps uh, it does a lot of these things that I've always gone, oh, there's such a pain to do, it's really annoying. So I'm going to show you my five favorite things about the Boost Union theme uh, that you can use that have been added to it that just give it that extra bit of making life so much easier when you are using the standard Boost theme. So let's have a look at what it looks like. By default, I've gone into site administration and I've just added in the uh, the extra theme. So if we just go into appearances, this is as an admin. So if you're not an admin, don't worry too much about this bit, but I'll just show you what it looks like and where it is. You can see that we have our themes here. So the current theme is called Boost Union. It needs the Boost theme, so you do need to have that installed, but I switched it over to Boost Union being the current theme. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things, uh, five things. First one is the navigation bar at the top. Now, it is really annoying that if you want to change that to a different color or make it a dark background color and white writing that you have to actually go into all the CSS and make that happen. Uh, with Boost Union, you don't need to do that. You can go into the Boost Union settings right down the bottom here. There is a nav bar color. Nice and simple. You can just go dark nav bar with light font color. Save it. And when you reload, there it is just done. How good is that? It is actually really nice just to be able to do it that way. Uh, if you have a look at the colors, you can see in the branding colors uh, that we've got here, you can choose your own branding, but if you use the default um, themes branding colors, you can also choose primary color with dark font. And you just hit save, reload, and there it is done. Or the other one that I like, actually, that I think is quite nice, is primary color with light just because this is a dark one. To me, that's just really, really nice. So I'm going to leave it like that. But you can see that we didn't have to do any CSS or any of that mucking around. We're just going to the advanced settings for this theme, for the Boost Union theme. And you can see here on the right, there is so many different advanced settings. So in general settings, you can still use the Boost theme presets. They will carry over. But then you can just add in all of these other things that are in here. So uh, that was one, the navigation at the top. Number two that I'll have to show you uh, is in the page width, which is just here. Previously, changing your page width, because you can see that it fits to that certain width there. If I go to full screen width, you can see that it, the layout is that size. What we can do is we can go into the Boost Union theme and just change this to whatever we'd like. Say if we're 100%, we change it to 100% and we click Save. Once it's saved, and I reload the page and make that bigger, you can see that now it fits to the full width. And that was all just by changing one simple setting in Boost Union. Uh, otherwise, we would have been mucking around with CSS for days trying to work that out. So uh, that is a fantastic thing to be able to do. It also gives you the draw width as well, uh, and the block draw width, the course index draw width, and the block draw width. So you can change what size these are as well over on the side. If you decide they need to be smaller or bigger, uh, you can make that decision yourself. So that's just something that's really clever. I'll leave that as full width for now. Okay, so that was number two. Uh, number three. Number three is the login page. And this one, I often have people say, how do we add more into that or change things? Well, if you go into the Boost Union theme for the login page, you can see there is a stack more options here that lets you do all sorts of things. So. Just give you a quick look. I'm just going to have to load this up, which I will do uh, in an incognito window because then you can see what the login actually looks like at the moment. So that's the current login at the moment. This is default login page background image position. So we can add a background image to that. Nice and simple. Let's do that. We'll just go in and grab a background image. We'll save and reload. Now you can do a background image in the normal Moodle as well in the normal Boost theme. But this just gives you so much more. So there's our background image loaded in, which looks much better. 
uh, then you can choose the layout of that, uh, what position it actually sits in. So center right, center top, uh, center bottom. So in this case, we might just go center center. So it sits right actually. Well, it depends. What we can do is we can change the login forms position, which in this case would make a lot of sense if we left align that and we center center right align the image and say that that will put this over on the left and the layout of this picture um, over on the right hand side so i'll just say that and we'll have a little look at that as well there we go you can see how it's aligned the image to the right which means if i bring that out to the full screen the image is on the right and the login is now on the left this is all just nice stuff that just makes it so much more presentable and easier to present what you're doing uh, in the boost theme. And the other thing that I really like about this is if you scroll down to login order, you can actually decide on the order of each of the login types. So if you've got multiple login uh, ways of people logging in, you can choose which order they're actually in, which you could never do that before, uh, which is really cool. Uh, you can still go back into the main settings and turn off the guest login and things like that as well. But that's all in there for the login part. So that was uh, number three. Number four, we're going to have a look at number four, which is something that I think is actually really cool. If we jump into a course, you can see that I've set this up as a banner inside the general content. So if we're going to edit settings, you can see I've manually put this in here as a banner image. But if we go over to our Boost Union and go to Course, and the Course tab, and we change this display course image in the course header, we say yes, and we've got a fullback course image we can put in there to um, decide how all these layout settings work. But I'm just going to save it as a default first so you can see what it does. So if I just go save changes, and remember we're just in a course now, you can see here that it's put a banner image across up the top. I can now get rid of this one. I can just go into the settings here and delete this one because we don't need that anymore and save and you'll see that now the banner sits across the top already automatically based on our course image so i'll just jump back to the the course level there but if i go to my courses you can see now if i go into one of the others like the h5p training one you can see that image is already aligned up there now there is a problem and that is the position of it and the height of it but we can go down here and we can change this to maybe 250 and it says center center i'm going to go center top so it grabs the image from the top center i'll save that we'll just go in and delete this one because we don't need that anymore because that was put in there because we didn't have this feature you can see now it's grabbed the top of that image and using both settings uh, i changed it to 250 as well and it's got course title above course image or you can go course title stacked on course image uh, black, white. So let's have a look at each one of those. Let's just save. And you can see the writing now is sitting over the image and the buttons are sitting inside there as well. If we go back again, course title stacked on course image. Let's just refresh. There you go, that's black writing on there. Probably doesn't work as well, does it? On that one. And course title above course image which is what we had before so that is a fantastic time saver in that it uses the existing image that you've already got and puts it across as a banner saves you putting that in manually which is what i've had to do with the other courses because i wanted that exact same effect but this is built into the theme save you so much time and uh, number five this is in the category index site home which i think is actually pretty cool if we go back to the home page you can see this is the default layout for the home page and you can see here under course listings for the category index and site home page they've got their designer's nightmare unchanged at present by middle call if we change that to course cards and there is a whole heap of settings here for course cards where you can decide what appears and what doesn't appear so we'll have a look at that but let's just hit save refresh the page and you can see it instantly goes to a layout that is much more presentable much nicer and that's the course cards and then we also have course list again with all the settings where you can decide what appears and what doesn't appear and if we go to course list refresh that that's what the course list looks like now remember that was comparing it to 
the original layout, which I'll save and refresh for you so you can just remember what that was. That was what it looked like originally. And this is it with the course cards. And like I said, all of those settings that you can turn on and off. So just those five things themselves are all things that previously we'd have to try and CSS our way through that and try and make that work. Uh, that's all part of Boost Union. So again, thank you, Greg Bird, for that, for um, suggesting this one. Uh, check it out. It's Boost Union. It's a really, really clever child theme for the Boost theme. So give that a go. I'll put a link down the bottom as well for you so you can jump in and check out where to get that plugin from. Any questions, of course, let me know. Love to help you out.